dear students i am glad to meet you again today's topic the cell cycle and the part of cell division at past we come the topic euchromatin and heterochromatin you know inside the nucleus fine thread like structures are present which we call chromatin threads if we strain this nucleus that is resting nucleus or nucleus which is present at the interface with basic dye then it is observed along the length of the chromatin thread the certain parts take deep stain and certain parts take light stain these deep stain parts are the heterochromatins and the light stain parts are the euchromatins but during cell division these euchromatin parts take deep stain and the heterochromatin although deep stain but lighter than euchromatin part these euchromatin parts they are the functional genes and can synthesize rna while heterochromatin parts are genetically inert and cannot synthesize rna so the how do such euchromatin and heterochromatin part form suppose you have taken a long thread with uniform color and now in one part you coil this thread just like a spring and another next part it is an as usual and again such spring like structure obviously the part which you coils take the deep stain that is formed in euchromatin and heterochromatin part so what are the differences between euchromatin and heterochromatin euchromatin during interphase the euchromatin parts take light stain while heterochromatin parts take deep stain during cell division phase euchromatin parts take deep stain heterochromatin parts take deep stain but lighter than euchromatin euchromatin parts are genetically active that is they are functional genes while the heterochromatin part genetically inert they can synthesize rna cannot synthesize rna so the euchromatin heterochromatin mm. then come to the next topic that is the role of some cell organelles in cell division the role of cell organelles in cell division like in number 1 nucleus nucleus is the brightest structure generally spherical in shape present in a cell and generally one inside the nucleus you already studied that there is a chromatin threads during cell division through a series of changes these chromatin threads are transformed into species specific number of chromosomes these chromosomes become double and ultimately divides into two and two daughter nuclei are formed that which is the basis of cell division number 2 centrosome and 
माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूल्स सेंटोजोम इज द सेल ऑर्गेनल व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ऑल इन द एनिमल सेल सेंटोजोम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू बैरल सेप स्ट्रक्चर्स कॉल्ड सेंटियोल्स ड्यूरिंग सेल डिवीजन the each centriole divides into two centrioles and they move apart towards 180 degree and spindle fibers appear in between them and in this way a bipolar spindle is formed which helps in polarization of the chromosomes that is movement of chromosome towards the respective poles centrosome acts as माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूलर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेंटर माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूलर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेंटर वेयर माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूल्स आर फॉर्म्ड माइक्रो ट्यूब्यूल्स आर फाइन ट्यूब्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर्स मेड ऑफ ट्यूब्यूल इन प्रोटीन्स व्हिच टेक पार्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्पिंडल फाइबर्स सो दे टेक आल्सो द मेजर रोल इन cell division in an animal cell number 3 ribosome ribosomes are the cell organelles which are present in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and ribosomes are responsible for the synthesis of protein and hence they are regarded as protein factory of the cell during cell division for the formation of dna rna nucleotide enzymes etc proteins are required and these proteins are synthesized by ribosomes A ribosome each ribosome is made of two subunits large and small and they remain are separated or isolated condition within the cytoplasm but when the protein synthesis is required they assemble along with the mrna which carries the information for protein synthesis from dna and ultimately protein is synthesized next mitochondria cell division is a biological process metabolic process so it requires energy and this energy is obtained from atp and which is synthesized and supplied by mitochondria so the cell organelles also play the major roles in the process of cell division now we come to the topic the cell cycle like every living organism a cell also has its own life cycle that is it burns grows reproduces that means divides and then dies it is the cell cycle that is occurs in a cyclic fashion the cell cycle occurs mainly through two alternate phases which are termed as interphase and division phase so the cell cycle that is interphase and n phase or mitotic phase or division phase interphase is again divided into three sub phases which are g1 or gap1 s or synthetic phase and g2 or gap2 and n phase is divided into four phases which are termed as prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase 
ओके ना इंटरफेज इंटरफेज इज रिगार्डेड एज द रेस्टिंग फेज बाट इन रियलिटी इट इज द मोस्ट एक्टिव फेज ड्यूरींग हुईज ए सेल प्रिपेयर इट सेल्फ फर नेक्स्ट डिविसन ड्यूरींग दिस टाइम द सेल ग्रेजुअल इनक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम मेटाबोलिक रेट बिकम्स वेरी मच हाई protein synthesis formation of cell organelle etc etc occur and ultimately it increases its maximum size and it divides now these changes which occur during interphase which we divide into three sub phases are now discussed like g1 after the formation of a cell that is a daughter cell which is small in size that is suppose you start from this that is from a mother cell two daughter cells are formed these cells are immature these are small in size now during g1 it gradually increases in size because of the synthesis of various substances metabolic rate becomes very much high synthesis of protein RNA, nucleotides, ATP, various cell organelles, mitochondria, Golgi bodies, endoplasmic reticulum, etc., are formed, and so the cell gradually increases in volume. After G1, it enters the S phase, but it is observed sometimes the progress. of the cell cycle stops at g1 and then the cell remains in a stationary condition it is known as g0 stage if a cell enters a g0 it cannot divide and these are seen in human body like neuron that is it progresses these cells progress up to g1 and then it enters the g0 for lifetime like started muscle fiber in plants all the permanent tissues but there are certain cells which remain in temporary g0 like cambium the cambium remains sleeping condition that is dormant permanent condition but once in a year it regains the power of cell division that is from g0 it again enters the s and then divide so from this it is clear if a cell does not enter the s it cannot divide here with the diagram of the cell cycle it is the m phase and you know m phase divided into prophase metaphase anaphase antiphase it is a g1 and in some there is another g0 it is the s and then g2 if a cell starts from here it it is small in size gradually the cell size increases and here maximum and it is ready for the division that is to enter the m okay now s after the g1 sl enters the s phase two important events occur in this phase that is in this phase replication of dna occurs that is a single dna now transform into a double so from up to g1 a chromosome is with one chromatid that is one single dna but during a phase now each chromosome consists of two chromatids that is two dna so we can say in this phase the replication of dna occurs so chromosomal content becomes double but chromosome number remains same 
Okay, that is PC, PC specific chromosome number remains same. Number two, histone protein synthesis occurs. You know that for the formation of chromosome, that is nucleosome formation, histone protein is required. Then it enters the G2, the phenomena which starts in, start in the G1 continues. That is formation of cell organelle completed, protein synthesis completed, synthesis of RNA also completed, synthesis of ATP and storage for the supply of energy occur. And in animal cell another phenomenon occurs that is the centrosome divides into centrosome divides into two not sorry the centriole of centrioles of centrosome divides into two so each centrosome now contains four centrioles it is the interface so you see the major part of the cell cycle is occupied by interface and then division phase. Now through four successive phases the nucleus divides into two daughter nuclei and ultimately cytokinesis occurs and two daughter cells are formed. Now here we say some the other points in the cell cycle which are known as checkpoints. In a cell cycle, three checkpoints are present. That is G1 and S checkpoint. G1 and S checkpoint. That is duty or role of checkpoint is to check the progress. If it does not occur properly, it never allows the cell to progress. For example, if in G1, the cell does not attain its real size, it stops the cell in this point and then when it fulfills, it then allows it to enter the S. Then G2 end checkpoint, G2 end checkpoint, in this checkpoint, it checks the proper formation of DNA, chromosome, etc. If it occurs, then it allows to enter the M checkpoint and M phase. Then M checkpoint, during metaphase, the spindle fibers are attached in the kinotechore of centromia. And if all the chromosomes are not attached to the centromia, it stops to progress to the next phase. It is the M checkpoint. Now we enter the cell division. You know that is the process, biological process by which a mother cell divides into two daughter cells. It is known as the cell division. The cell division types. Cell division mainly three types, which are known as amitosis, mitosis, and meiosis. At first, amitosis. Amitosis, not mitosis. Cell division means at first nucleus divides into two. It is called karyokinesis. And then cytoplasm divides. It is known as cytokinesis and two daughter cells are formed. Where does amitosis occur? Amitosis mainly occurs in prokaryotic cell like bacteria and also noticed in yeast, protista like amoeba also. The, you know, in a prokaryotic cell, there is no true nucleus. There is a nucleoid is present. There is no definite chromosome, a circular DNA 
function of such conjugate. Here, when division occurs from a single cell, two cells are formed, means two organisms are formed. During division, no changes like which occur in the mitosis, meiosis occur, like formation of chromosome, chromatid, spindle formation, etc. Here, the nucleus of the cell or nucleoid of the cell directly diverts into two. And hence it is also known as direct cell division. Now, what happens during a mitosis? There is process. Inside the cell, at first, a nucleoid elongates. A constriction appears in the middle. It gradually depends and ultimately divides into two nucleoid. Cytoplasm also divides along with the division of the nucleus and thus two daughter cells are formed. It is very simple process and very fast process. In reality, during division, you know in a prokaryotic cell like bacteria, there is a mesosome is present. In the mesosome region, the DNA, the circular DNA which functions as chromosome divides into two. And then cytoplasm divides into two halves surrounding that. It is known as the amitosis. Now, mitosis. Mitosis is the somatic cell division. The somatic means the body cell, the whole body made up of somatic cell and division of these cells occur by mitosis. So where does mitosis occur? So mitosis occurs in the somatic cell. In plant body, you know, the mitosis cell division occurs only in the growing region that is meristem. So in plant body mitosis occurs in the meristem that is growing region, root tip, stem tip, growing leaf, growing embryo etc. and also in the cambium that is which divides mm, once in the yeah. Okay. In animal cell it occurs throughout the body. There is no such localized regions for mitosis like the plants. So what is mitosis? Mitosis is the somatic cell division by which the nucleus and cytoplasm of the mother cell divides only once to produce two daughter cells of equal size where chromosomal content of the mother cell remains quantitatively and qualitatively equal between the mother and daughter cells. If in mother cell chromosome number 2n then in daughter cell chromosome number also 2n and within the chromosomes of the mother cell the genes are present which also present similar way in the two daughter cell as all equal that is a mother cell divides into two equal cells that is two daughter cell equal size the chromosome number remains same, chromosomal quantity same, all same, hence it is known as the equational division. Now, the process of mitosis. Mitosis cell division occurs to two stages. Number one, karyokinesis, that is nuclear division. 
and cytokinesis that is cytoplasmic division karyokinesis now divides into four successive phases which are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase now i discuss the one by one past the prophets so karyokinesis means the division of nucleus you know non prophets now we follow it is the cell it is the nucleus inside the nucleus the chromatin reticulum that is chromatin threads present in the form of network if animal cell that is the centrosome okay during prophase at first the first point the dehydration of nucleus begins that means the water from the nucleus comes out into the cytoplasm it acts as stimulus as it is a chromatin reticulum that is which made of chromatin threads these chromatin threads get separated from one another and appear as the long threads and into species specific number of chromosomes that is during this phase the chromosomes appear as long threads which are nothing but the species specific number of chromosomes that is for example in human body there are you see the 46 chromosomes you know first point now the second point now each chromatin each chromatid of each chromosome you already studied that is each chromosome is made of two chromatids which occurs during a sub phase so like each chromatid of each chromosome and now coils like a spring by spiralization and also by condensation gradually become thick and short and appear as the chromosomes here at first you see the long threads which we call them chromosome and now take they take the particular shape of the chromosome it is the number 2 now number 3 now each chromosome each chromosome longitudinally splits up into two chromatids except a point centromere that is it forms in such a way that is one chromatid and another chromatid now each chromosome now longitudinally splits up into two chromatids except a point called centromere okay now the next point now the chromosomes gradually moves towards the periphery of the nuclear membrane an empty space appear at the center that is all the chromosomes gradually move towards the periphery that is towards the nuclear membrane an empty space appear okay next point nucleolus and nuclear membrane gradually disappear okay all the chromosomes which remain surrounded by the nuclear membrane at the end of this phase the nuclear membrane gradually disappears nucleolus also disappears so the chromosomes now open within the cytoplasm 
that is remain free. These events which I discuss are common for both plant and animal cell. But in animal cell, another event is noticed. During prophets, the centrosome divides into two centrosomes containing two centrioles each. That is, you know, during G2, the each centriole divides into two, ultimately four centrioles. And a force of repulsion is generated between them. So they move apart towards 180 degree. And spindle fibers appear in between them. These are formed of microtubules. Okay? It is the prophets. Next, metaphage. Next, that is the appearance of the nuclear membrane indicates the end of prophets. During metaphage, in animal cell, the centrosome reach two centrosome reach the opposite poles and spindle is fully formed and occupies almost the entire cell. In a plant cell, in the beginning of this stage, from cytoplasmic tubule in proteins, a bipolar spindle is formed. The two ends are known as poles and hence the bipolar. So two ends are of the spindle known as the poles. The middle extended region is known as the equator. The fiber that extends from one pole to the next known as continuous fiber. Conti Numerous fiber and certain fibers are attached with the centromere of the chromosome. These are the chromosomal fibers. That is now that in second point we you will see the chromosomal fiber. Now the chromosomes are arranged on the equator in such a way. So that their centromeres are present on the equator. Centromeres, 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 and so on. That is, the chromosomes are arranged in such a way. There is one, one, two, two, and so on. The spindle fibers get attached in their centromeric region. These fibers are known as the chromosomal fibers. Chromosomal fibers. So, in the structure of the spindle, you see that is two ends are known as the pole, middle extended region known as the equator, the fiber that extends from one pole to the other, that is continuous, and the fiber that extends from one pole to the Centromere of the chromosome, that is chromosomal fiber, chromosomal fiber. Okay, number two, number three. Due to arrangement of the chromosomes on the equator, it appears like a path on the equator, just like a road. If you, if you place the bricks on the ground in in a straight line, you then say it is the road, so just like, and it is known as mitotic path or metaphagic plate. Okay, during this phase, maximum spiralization, maximum condensation of the chromosome occurs, and that is the maximum shortening of the chromosome occur, and that is why. When we study the chromosome, we take the metaphagic chromosome. 
Okay. During this phase, the chromosomes can be clearly counted under microscope because of the position of the centromere. If we strain these chromosomes, the centromere, you know, the centromeres do not take color, and hence by counting the centromeres, we can say the number of chromosomes is the metaphase. Then anaphase. It is the shortest phase of the cell division and also known as the moving phase of chromosomes. During this phase, the each chromatid completely separates through the centromere. That is, till now, each chromosome contains two chromatids, but they remain attached in the centromere. That is, it is centromere, it is one chromatid, it is another chromatid. Now, it divides through the centromere. So, each centromere gets its, sorry, each chromatid gets its own centromere. Okay? Each chromatid completely divides through the centromere. That is, each chromatid gets its own centromere. So, now if we say these chromatids as daughter chromosomes, the chromosome number becomes double in this phase that is during anaphase. Okay, number one. Number two, as soon as the two chromatids get separated in the centromere region, the force of repulsion is generated between the sister chromatids. So they move apart from one another towards the respective poles, that is one, one, two, one, one, towards one pole, one, one, towards opposite pole, and during this phase, the chromosomes appear the different English alphabets like V, J, L, etc. And at the end of an phase, equal number of chromosomes reach the respective poles. So here you see, here each chromosome consists of one chromatid, that is one DNA. It again becomes double during a stretch. It is the anaphase. Now telophage. It is the last phase and almost opposite to the prophage. Equal number of chromosomes reach the respective pole. Now, surrounding the chromosomes by the endoplasmic reticulum, the nuclear membrane really appears in each pole. Nucleolus also reappears. Hydration begins, that is water from the cytoplasm enters the nucleus. As a result, you now think the prophets. Now we say here just opposite, where from chromatin reticulum chromosomes are from. Here from chromosome chromatin reticulums will form. That is chromosomes by despiralization, decondensation, gradually become long and thread, long thread-like structures called chromatin threads and they entangle each other to form chromatin reticulum. In this way, two daughter nuclei are formed, one in each pole Okay, 
today now the completed up to the process of mitosis next day we start the meiosis meiosis or okay thank you all